good morning, afternoon, night, everyone. It's good night. I don't know. Um, but after, you know what? I'm really excited right now, and I'm going to tell y'all why. Um, number one, uh, skinny jeans are back. I don't know. That's not what I was really excited for, but it is a fact, and that's a big change in my life because I don't have as many pockets anymore. And if you guys know me, you know I love my pockets, so... That's a bummer, but you know what? Sometimes it's better to work. Anyway, um, so I was just cruising around, and I had so much time after school today. I'm like, okay, let's see. What do I do on the internet? And I was like, let's see. What do I do for entertainment? Look at my bookmarks. I started going through my bookmarks, and I find creation.com, and I read about that for a while. I started listening to Michael Jackson and Jackson 5. I was browsing around. I found this page that I bookmarked a while ago about, like, old mammoth lifts or something like that um so i looked into that and i was on the mammoth website and then um i remember i saw a list like proposed lifts for mammoth like some fan you know some skier made a where they would want to put lifts and it was kind of insane um but it looked awesome but he's still insane so i googled like new lifts for mammoth because like oh i remember Earlier in the year, we were talking about the Eagle Lodge and stuff going on with that. I haven't checked up on that for a while. found an article published on June 10th of 2017. And this blew my mind. Most insane article. Oh my goodness. So, EcoSign, the company that helps um, kind of redo and design resorts to improve... Um, lift capacity and lodging accommodations and stuff like that. Basically, design the resort. They work with ski resorts and design them. Um, they are the people behind Whistler and Blackcomb. Whistler Blackcomb. So, um, a lot of really like sold in in Australia or in Austria, not Australia. Um, a lot of really big mountain resorts have used them. So, um, they kind of help with that. And uh, um, they, they work with Mammoth, too, and they put out, apparently, a map of new lifts um, that I was not aware about. And it's September, but they came out with this in June. So, um, actually, a few days after school got out. So, um, really, really, absolutely insane. Starting to get hyped. Um, after Aspen KSL purchased Mammoth earlier this year, I think it was, um, uh, Gregory promised $100 million in capital investments. And the plans are starting to be shown. So they've they've always talked about rumors of like doing something. There were rumors out for a while about doing some, you know, doing some special thing with Eagle out with the gondola. And I already told you guys those plans. Um, and I think back then, actually, that's all we knew. This article literally tells all, and they wrote it down. They wrote down everything they plan on doing. Basically, they showed a map. Existing lifts, proposed lifts. That's all I need, man. And they labeled stuff. Um, life changing map. Seriously. Um, so the rest of this vlog, just a disclaimer, is gonna be like mammoth stuff. Like not like, oh, I know about skiing. I can listen. Like you kind of have to know what mammoth. You know, like um, about mammoth for you to understand all the ridiculous words I'm about to say. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go on from there. So. Mammoth term starting to be in use. I'm going to talk about stuff that... Anyways. Um, I'm just trying to say, though, you know, I'm talking about stuff. Like, if I was to come... If I was to go to a house and then talk about the house, like, oh, yeah, I was right behind the bed. You'd be like, where the hell? I don't know what this house is. So, that was a horrible example, but we're going to go on. Um, so, we are... We always knew that they were going to build this grand gondola from the bottom of Eagle to top of Eagle to top of 5 to top of 27. Or panorama upper. Um, and they are doing this, but... Okay, so, at the bottom, you know, they have the ski school area. On the right of the lift, you're looking at the mountain. Um, taking that out, they're building a huge Juniper Springs Eagle Lodge lodge resort type of thing. Because they, they, they've wanted to get rid of those tents for a while because they look bad. Um, although, I actually really like the tents, but whatever. Getting rid of them. Um... Building a gondola going up, so right. Um, so now there's no ski school. You lodging is a ski school, so they're building a chair fifteen ski center or something like that um, at the top of the old fifteens at the first station on the gondola, right, 
right at the base of link not the base of lincoln but where lincoln steepness kind of declines and then turns into the gradual slopes of eagle um top of 15 basically um they're building the chair 15 ski center and in that they're building three lifts that go down so you ski down, it's gonna and that in that area they're gonna build a ski school so they have two magic carpets and a poma set up there um so basically you'll go up to ski school you'll ski down and then you'll ride back up ski down ride back up um so yeah <laughs> um so that's First of all, insane. Blew my mind when I saw it. So that'd be in front right now. Fr starting to forget the runnings. It's been a while. I know you have Water Tank and then you have Juniper. So that would be in place of Manzanita. So Fat Rip Manzanita. No one really liked Manzanita in the first place. But, um, well, I mean, I mean, it was a good run. But, like, you never wanted to do it. Like, it was kind of, you had to hike to get there. And it was, like, so easy to just, like, oh, let's do Water Tank. Let's do Juniper. Let's do Bridges. So... Anyways, um, Rip Manzanita is going to turn into ski school. You could probably still ski it and take the pump. I don't know if it's going to be gated off or whatever. Um, so that's already insane. Then, um, at first I thought they were replacing Chera, and I'm like, yeah, we need Chera to be replaced. God bless you. Um, and then I looked for, my dad looked at it, and he's like, no, this is it. I'm like, oh, Rip, dude, are they building? So they're building another lift literally right next to eight. It's then this time it goes from Canyon to the top of to the chair 15 center not the top of old eight which actually old eight's gonna stay according to this map um and they're gonna build this lift going up to meet the um at the chair 15 ski center which is going to um and then two gondolas from eagle and from canyon are gonna combine and you know go up not combine but Wait, do you just say gondola? Yes, because this is not a new lift they're putting in. They're continuing the village gondola. The village gondola terminal is going to be redone, which means, oh my gosh, they're going to have to derail the cable and everything. So it's going to be a huge flipping project. But they're going to continue the village gondola. Actually, do I don't know. Um, and they're gonna, it's going to turn, and it's going to go up to the chair 15 center. So that's, oh my gosh, ridiculous. Um, they're upgrading 7 to a quad. They're upgrading 25 to a high-speed detachable quad, but they're moving the base over to the bottom of 9. Um, so it's still going at the same place as Doppel Lincoln, but they're, they're moving it over, which actually might decrease run accessibility because sometimes you come off stuff off Lincoln, and you can go back down to... Um, you can get back down to 25. So now it's going to be a little bit further up the hill, but they're moving it to 9 because they're going to build this huge... They're calling it like Chair 925 Restaurant, you know, um, a restaurant at the base of 9 and 25. So that's great. Um, that's actually a really nice place for a restaurant, in my opinion. Um, now 9 might actually finally serve its purpose. It's been a high-speed detachable six-pack for the longest time, and no one has ever cared because no one knows that side of the mountain exists, and even if they do, no one ever skis it. They're very, it's very rare that Cloud 9 is full it's just normally like you know ch every three chairs there's one person on um it's normally super empty except powder mornings oh my goodness you do not want to be in line for nine not a good decision man um but okay um so they're oh my gosh already so insane um from what i looked at they not act they're not actually building the restaurant at the top of five the gondola i originally thought they were building a restaurant where the gondola had a midterm at the top of five. But from the the look of their plans, it looks like they're actually going to be building it at the top of ten, at the top of Gold Rush. Um, which is definitely, there's a lot more flat space there. That's going to make it difficult for me to, like, bomb down Solitude and head over to Spook. But we'll see how that works. Actually, yeah, if it's a lodge area, whoo, rip that. No one's going to be able to make it to Spook anymore. The hardest black diamond on the map. Um... And then, so, that's, I don't know, it's either one or the other. On the map, it was at 10, but I've heard it was at 5, so we'll see what they do. Um, I mean, they're basically right next to each other, so it's kind of irrelevant, but we'll see. I, I would think they would want to put it with the gondola terminal, but uh, you can ski down, I guess, right? Um, they're redoing 5. They, no, yeah, they had 5 in red, um, the, so it means they're building a new lift, which I honestly, man that's that's interesting because five was put in in 2012 i believe um yeah it was either 11 or 12 that they put in five so i really don't know why they would redo it 
but mm, I don't really care. Whatever. Um, maybe they just maybe they have to adjust it, or they're gonna have to change something up at the top to uh, accommodate for this gondola. Maybe that's why they have to. So maybe they're not completely replacing it. They're just they have to screw around with it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, maybe they're gonna integrate the top into whatever kind of gondola sta I don't know if they're going to build a building up at this gondola station at the top of five, but um, we'll see. And then, of course, you guys know the gondola goes and connects with PG2. I think you guys knew that. Also, at the top of Cloud9, um, great lift right at the bottom of Dave's, right? You're all, you've always been so close to the top, but nope. If you want to go get up there, get up that last 25 feet, and it's more, a lot more than that. But you got to ski all the way down to McCoy. So... Number one, this gondola at the top of five is going to help a lot with that. Um, if you can just, um, you'll be able to ski down, actually. You'll be able, if you are at the top of nine, you're like, let's do Dave's. You don't have to ski over and across and weird. You can ski all the way down to um, the Chair 15 Ski Center or bottom of Eagle or something. And then come, you'll be able to take it up, which is convenient. Even though you might technically be skiing further, um, there's something nice about not having to go across the mountain just go down um so it, it just feels better in our brains i guess um but at the top of nine as i was saying they're trying on building i can't remember if it was a chairlift or a surface lift but some sort of lift that's gonna go up to the top of dave's and then back down the back side it looked like like what they're also replacing 14 and 12 which is good high speed detachables um they're replacing some at least in the lineup there this isn't necessarily um it wasn't directly stated but um the article said that you know they might be putting in eights and um they have canyon broadway and stump in line so canyon and broadway are clearly obviously the primary lifts for their their little zones um canyon eagle lodge or i mean canyon and main so uh canyon and broadway are the primary things and they're all still the the Yan high-speed attachables with the retrofitted DOP scripts. I'm like, what are you doing with your life? Just, oh, don't do that. Just put in a real Doppelmayr lift. So, um, speaking of Doppelmayr, you guys know that's what my channel's named after, right? Okay. Um, so, they'd be replacing those, thankfully. And Stump Alley, holy smokes. If I could change one thing at Mammoth, um, generally speaking, or not change, but... We whenever we go skiing, we say if you could replace one lift in Mammoth, what would you replace? And the answer is always number one. Stump Alley is gonna be a uh, high speed orange bubble heated seat eight person lift. Um, because Stump Alley, holy smoke, is that annoying? That is not. Oh my goodness. So um, we'll see. Of course, there also is that traffic law that you know um, when you widen, when you add more lanes to a road, more people use the road because they think it's wider, which it is, but they think it's going to be better, and then traffic gets worse. Um, hopefully, there's not too much of that. Although this is different because there's only two ways to maneuver around that, anyways. Um, but hopefully, you don't have people like. People like me and Nathan, for example, that a lot of times will go up five and then ski over to McCoy as opposed to going down to Stump because Stump sucks. Hopefully there's not so many of us that, you know, we all of a sudden all come down to Stump and Stump's back up, backed up again. Although that's really improbable because um, doubling the capacity and that's where... And then they're also adding... Um, which actually now that I think of it, now that I'm thinking about it again, brilliant idea. Adding another lift at the base of stump to the right, um, and that one is going to go through that forest, and it's going to come in like halfway up um, six Thunderbound or Unbound. I'm sorry, not Thunderbound anymore. Um, it's going to pop out like halfway up Unbound Express and uh, um, drop you off for people just going down to Main Lodge. Um, so that should really help because, you know, a lot of people going up stump just want to go to Maine, you know, that, or the entire half of the mountain for that matter. But um, people going up who need to get to McCoy or get to three, which is most people, but they can go up stump, nice eight person, come down. But, man, if you just want to go to Maine Lodge, if you want to hit hit up that Broadway, hit up that Discovery Chair, yes, um, you'd be able to take whatever that side lift is and ski down from there. Um on an interesting note, although it's justified, they're replacing 7 with a high speed, but not 8. Um, now, obviously, this isn't all going to be, you know, summer 2018. We're redoing the entire flipping mountain. Merry Christmas, you guys. Um, 
this is going to be quite a long process, but from the way um, the CEO of Mammoth, has uh, Rusty, has talked about it, it's pretty clear that the gondola from Eagle is basically um, top on his priority list um, to be done. So if anything is going to be done in the summer of 2018, it is very likely to be that gondola from Eagle, um, which is good. But, I mean, all the stuff on that side of the mountain is kind of interconnected because as they, as they build this gondola, they're also building this, they're going to be probably building the, the kind of, what, Chair 15 Ski Center um, at the top of Pre-15 or Old 15. And then with that, they also, you know, you want to make sure you get capacity of that place. You're not um, squishing everyone onto that one eagle lift. So then you want to extend the village gondola to come up there. And then um, with that now, let's see. The path of the gondola is going to be intercepting 25, so they need to move 25, and then you have to build the restaurant down there, and, you know, um, it just, it just, oh, yeah, that's not why 25, gondola can go over, but the reason they would move, need to move 25 is because I think 25 would also, also might actually probably will be in the way of where they're building their ski school thing, so, um, you know, we'll see what they want to build at once, and hopefully, man, I just, hopefully they'll fix Stump, too, like, put in that gondola for sure, but, like, Stump, please. So, anyways, um, there's a ton, a ton to look at um, and on this list of updates. Um, if you just search up, I don't know what the article was called anymore. If you search up New Lift at Mammoth, um, one of the first few articles um, published on, it was June 10th, 2017, if the date helps you. Um, um, just look at the map for yourself, because it's really fascinating, the plans they have to do. And... Um, I mean, a lot of these things are not going to happen for, frankly, a really long time. Like, replacing Chair 7, that's not on anyone's priority list. I don't even know why they're doing it. Um, little things like that. Um, but 14 and 12 definitely do not need to be doubles anymore. But, you know, stuff like that. Also, not Canyon. I don't know. Canyon brought... brought I, I'm not really at Broadway, so I can't tell you about it. But I've never been, had the Broadway line be too long, so... Um, I, I can't really speak for if that's very important. Um, but yeah, just fixing 7 is not very high in priority. I'm sure 25, if they can get around building it and build some of their other stuff without moving 25, um, I would think 25 probably won't be, isn't the biggest thing. That surface lift going from the top of 9 probably isn't the most important thing. The most important thing to Mammoth right now is going to be... Um, Getting getting this gondola going for sure. That is top on their priority list. Getting the gondola going. Getting the lodge set at Eagle. Um, that is something you know. Um, unfortunately, when you run a resort, you have to look at aspects of that too, not just lifts. You have to. So they're going to be focusing on building that lodge. Um, and um, again, the next thing I would think to see on their priority list is probably going to wind up being. Um, replacing either Broadway or Canyon or Stump. Hopefully Stump. Um, but we'll see. Anyways, that's it for your extra long vlog, man. If there's one thing I can talk about, it is Mammoth. So, get wrecked. I don't know. Dab on it. It's the weekend. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please do leave a like. If you did not like the video, please do leave a dislike. Remember to share your opinion in the comment section down below. And I will see you tomorrow for more Mammoth. And I probably won't talk about Mammoth until September. We'll see. Tomorrow. Bye, bye, bye.